Hi, I'm Stephanie Patton, and you're watching another episode of United for a Healthy Stoughton. Today we are filming Moving and Grooving at the Stoughton Council on Aging, which is at 110 Rockland Street. And the ladies here behind me have been participating in this class for a number of years and are very excited to talk to you about it. So here we go. Hi, my name is Linda Hickey, and I've been coming to Ruth's Zumba class for about four years now. And it is a wonderful class. She is an excellent teacher. Everybody has so much fun in the class. You ne never see anybody in a bad mood. Everybody's got a big smile, and everybody just cracks up laughing, and it's um, a lot of exercise. She gives you a good workout. When you leave here, believe you me, even though you're a senior, you've worked up a sweat, and I bet the 20-year-olds couldn't keep up with us, to tell you the truth. And um, also, it's just so good to um, get all your joints moving. Now, before, I've had um, back problems and aches and pains, but as soon as I started this Zumba class, it's just, she's just like a miracle worker. Less aches and pains, it really helps all your um, old lady pots that you have. <laughs> Uh, I'm Pat Sullivan, and I actually live in Canton. I don't live in Stoughton, but a friend of mine from Canton tipped me off one day to this great class. She said, there's a terrific Zumba class in Stoughton. You have to go and check it out. So I did, and the rest is history. I've been here a couple of years, and I love it. I try not to miss a class. It's, as Linda said, we all have a good time. We leave here. We feel like we've really accomplished something. And the, when one of the reads in, in um, she mentioned that Ruth is such a good teacher. I mean, she choreographs this class so it's easy for us to keep up with it. I mean, seniors are known to not have good memory. You know, like I can't remember more than four or five steps in sequence. But she has it choreographed so we can remember the parts easily and put it together. I'm, sometimes I'm gone for a couple of months in the winter and I come back here and I pick it right up in one night. Physical activity is an essential component to a healthy lifestyle for people of all ages. Physical activity holds particular importance in adults that are over the age of 65 because older individuals are at a higher risk for a lot of the health issues that regular exercise can help to prevent. Being regularly physically active can reduce your risk of heart disease, diabetes, arthritis, high blood pressure, and obesity. The Surgeon General's office recommends at least 30 minutes of physical activity every day in order to get the benefits associated with exercise. For seniors, one of these most important benefits is reducing the risk of falling because exercise can increase balance, mobility, flexibility, and bone density. Sounds great, right? Well, in spite of these great benefits to exercise, most older Americans are not getting enough. Only 22% of Americans over the age of 65 report regularly engaging in physical activity. Do you fall into that category? Well, good news. Right here in Stoughton, we can help you with that. If you find yourself in need of more exercise, the Stoughton Senior Center offers a variety of exercise classes, ranging from yoga and tai chi, to strength training, to moving and grooving. We sat down with Ruth Carmelin Bice, the instructor for moving and grooving, to learn more about this class. And so, um, Ruth, I'm wondering if you can tell us a little bit about um, how long you've been teaching this class and what it is and how you got started doing it. So I uh, had started doing Zumba, going to Zumba classes myself mm -hmm. uh, in 2007. Wow. And uh, shortly after that, I was inspired to get my Zumba license. Mm -hmm. Uh, when you get a Zumba license, you have it for one year for free. Um, well, you pay for your license, right. but then you have a license for free for one year. 
after one year, I couldn't call it Zumba anymore, and I was looking for some place to do volunteer work, mm -hmm. um, to be able to dance with volunteers uh, as a volunteer and um, be able to use all the things that I learned from my Zumba training, um, plus I love to dance. And I think as a child, I wanted to be a choreographer, like mm -hmm. the truth. <laughs> June Taylor, anybody remember June Taylor? from? Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. So, so... Moving and Grooving was given the name because I couldn't call it Zumba. Uh, one of the persons in my class uh, named it uh, Moving and Grooving, and we came to the senior center. And I needed, because I was doing some sort of volunteer, I needed some sort of currency. Mm -hmm. So it, it just became obvious to me to use food donations mm -hmm. as that currency. Great. Uh, and look at how many years later and how many tons of food, tons, have, items of food have been donated. Mm -hmm. It's just a good thing. Great. So we dance for food. So tell us a little bit more about that. So you guys collect food. So as people come in, they leave food in a yes. box out front for the food pantry. That's the currency for participating. Great. Uh, and uh, it's a win-win. I win. It's food bank wins. The ladies win. It's, mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, so which is great. So that's a really nice partnership here in Stoughton that's happening that you all every week we know that there's so I'm actually I'm usually here on Thursdays when um, Peg Carboni comes and picks up the food. And so we know that there's always going to be food here at the Council on Aging for her to collect, which yeah. is wonderful because you guys are she knows the weeks that you're not here because it's there's not true. as much stuff. Right? When there's a Tuesday holiday, the food bank has less donations. It's right. true. Yeah. Right. Yep. So that's terrific. Yep. So tell me about some of the other sort of interesting things you guys have done. So I know you've done a flash mob, right? We've done a couple of flash mobs at the local food farmer's market. Yep. a couple of videos, YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. uh, we had class last year. All of our classes were at the YMCA mm -hmm. because of um, the building. This building was broken and we oh, had it. Right. Yeah, right. <laughs> and right. So, uh, so we made a video of our class there and we sent it to Bette Midler because we were dancing to a Bette Midler song. We never heard from her, oh. but we did <laughs> But we did send it to her. Yep. We, uh, once a year at Thanksgiving time, we have a class uh, at the YMCA, a combination of my moving and grooving mm -hmm. class and the uh, Zumba Gold class at the YMCA we combine and we uh, in two hours of dancing you know boxes and boxes and boxes of food are donated uh, to, for, to participate in that event so it's it's again it's food sam food donations can be a form of currency mm -hmm. uh, and these ladies uh, bring it and pay it and dance Awesome. Yeah. So you were talking about the Bette Midler thing, but I know you also really would love to be on Ellen, well, right? So tell me about so Ellen. Ellen DeGeneres mm -hmm. is a dancer. She's mm -hmm. a woman who loves to dance. She understands the value of dancing. She uh, is uh, just an inspiration. Mm -hmm. So we dance, yeah. and it's not like we are joke tellers or sing. We're not singers. Mm -hmm. We're dancers, yeah. and so if she, you know, I think that I would love it if she uh, could take note of our class and 
just to kind of say hi to us. Okay. It would be kind of a great thing. That would be an yeah. awesome thing. Yeah. So we're going to say hi to Ellen we're on say, camera here. Yeah. <laughs> you know, Ellen loves to dance, so right? do we. Um, that's what I was thinking. Excellent. And so another big thing that you all do that I know we here as staff at the Council on Aging and um, Youth Commission always look forward to is your annual potluck. So tell us about the potluck. <laughs> <laughs> These ladies can cook. And uh, we set, you know, we have a party, we celebrate after the holidays, everybody brings a dish, mm -hmm. and we, sh we share our traditional specialties, uh, and when we leave, everybody takes their dish with them, and it just makes sense for cleanup. Yep. And, uh, but the variety and the quality and the creativeness uh, and the traditions of our foods, um, you know, some of us wouldn't be able to get through that door without what they, without what, bringing what they usually bring because mm -hmm. we count on uh, those traditional things. So we are a, a group of people that we gather, we dance, and we eat. Great. So if somebody else wanted, somebody's watching the show and they're inspired by hearing from all the ladies and, um, and some of the footage that we're going to show of the class happening how can they participate and so tell us a little bit about when this happens how you can come and and be a part of this group so we meet at Tuesdays at 5 mm -hmm. the senior center which I like to call the council on living and aging mm -hmm. not just the council on aging we love that yeah um, the senior center has you know little cards that you flash to get in uh, it shows for them the senior center can now see what the utilization of right. the of the center is so we encourage folks to get the card uh, to flash in to get this mm -hmm. into the senior center but that doesn't mean you have to pay cash for the class great I uh, work full time. I would love to be able to offer this class during the day to make it accommodating for uh, others. Uh, however, I can't because I'm still working. You're a volunteer. Uh, I'm yep. a volunteer. And uh, so Tuesdays at 5, mm -hmm. uh, show up with a food sample, a food donation, and we uh, will welcome you. We try to keep our steps simple. Mm -hmm. I keep my music uh, familiar, uh, although these ladies know Pitbull now because right. of because of <laughs> class. They might not have known Pitbull before, uh, but we, uh, we, I try to make the dances um, uh, easy to follow mm -hmm. with familiar music. Uh, it's not difficult, uh, but you know, bring a food pantry donation and a smile and uh, you're all set. Great, yeah. so hopefully folks will see this and maybe we'll have to Get a bigger room. I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, that wall, when that wall is open, uh, we can fill the room. The greatest pleasure a dance leader can have is when the class is too crowded mm -hmm. and you have to move to a larger room. Yep. Uh, that would be uh, delightful if that was if that was me. Um, I'm just blessed to be able to do this, to be able to uh, be able to volunteer. I've met some wonderful, wonderful women uh, in these years that I've been doing this class and I expect to continue. Excellent. Yeah. So this will not be a well-kept secret in Stoughton for seniors anymore no. after this, hopefully. Yeah. And um, you might make some new friends here, hopefully. We welcome that. That'll Excellent. be awesome. All right. Well, thank you so much. Okay. All right. Have All a great right. class. All right. Yay. <laughs> moving and grooving is good for your body and your brain. All of those dance moves get your whole body moving, and it works a lot of muscles to increase circulation and cardio endurance. While you're moving, you're improving blood flow to your brain, which is great for improved concentration long after the class is over. Of course, we all know that exercise is good for working off all those fun sweets we all like to eat. Dancing is also great for improving range of motion and working on coordination while you learn those steps. And Ruth promises the steps are easy to follow. Like all weight-bearing exercises, including walking, moving and grooving helps to increase bone density and build muscles. And after watching these ladies dancing, laughing, and having such a great time, it is clear that this class provides great stress relief. Being active with a group provides social opportunities and a chance to meet new people. This group not only dances together, but they socialize before and after class, have an amazing annual potluck, and sometimes even go out socially. Hello, my name is Ruth O'Day. And when I was young, I always had fun exercising. And then as I got a little bit older, I found that exercise was exercising wasn't too much fun. I thought fun and exercise were mutually exclusive. Once I started here at Movin' and Groovin' with Ruth, boy did I have fun, and I still do. Not only that, but we have a chance to bring food to the food pantry in Stoughton. 
So it's a win-win for everybody. Ruth is fabulous. She's charming. She's welcoming. And all of my classmates are terrific. So it's a wonderful evening here at the Stoughton Senior Center. And uh, I recommend it to everyone, men and women. My name is Denise Robbins. Um, I never liked to exercise at all, but I used to force myself to do the treadmill in my cellar. And then about a year ago, Ruth invited me to come here to do Zumba with a group of girls. Um, it's a lot of fun. We have a lot of laughs. I love it. I never miss a class. Ruth is wonderful. She makes it fun. We laugh a lot. All the women here that are with us are great ladies. We get together on the outside to go have maybe dinner as well. They're good friends. Hi, my name is Karen McDonald and I am the director of the Stoughton Council on Aging. And I'm here to talk about one of my favorite things, uh, which is our moving and grooving class. Um, our moving and grooving class, it, personifies all of the things that we love about the Senior Center. Uh, it gets seniors active and it's a social support so these ladies really care about each other. It's volunteerism. It's been going on for several years and one of the things that I like the best about it is that every age level can uh, jump right in um, and learn the steps and people are patient and kind and they do one of the best potlucks I've ever seen. Um, but, that, but even the potluck is just about how supportive they are of each other, uh, how important it is to stay active, and how the benefits that we get as a senior center for people coming to volunteer. Uh, every week they bring a food uh, um, item, and so that's the cost of the class. And some of these people come in all weathers. Uh, they come in the heat, they come in the cold, they come in the dark. And it's just one of my favorite programs. Hi, my name is Phyllis Holliday, and I've always loved to dance. I, to me, it's a joy to be moving, and whenever I hear the music, I just want to move. And I've been coming to this class since, uh, for maybe six years, and when I, the first time that I came, I was so tired when we finished, I thought, oh my goodness. But I kept coming and it's helped my mobility and my balance and the class when you look around the room you can see all the smiles on your, the faces and also it just makes you feel young. So I, I would just say to anyone that would like to feel young again, come join us. Hi, my name is Carol Young and my friend and I are the seniors in this group, and we're proud to say that we're both 83 years young, and we just love this class. We love Ruth, she is phenomenal, and we happen to love all the women in the class. They're just great. We have so much fun, and moving and grooving has kept me fit, and I can do anything, do all my chores, whatever I have to do, which is amazing. And uh, we just have fun while we are exercising and keeping ourselves fit. We hate when we miss a class. And uh, we're just lucky to have Ruth and lucky to have this class and lucky to have each other. So if tonight's show sparked your interest and got you on your feet and you want to dance with the ladies here at Moving and Groovin', come on down to the Council on Aging at 110 Rockland Street. And these ladies will be welcoming and happy to invite you in to join their class. So we're going to put up a little bit of information about how to get in touch with the Council on Aging. All you need to do is come on down on Tuesday at 5 o'clock with your donation for the food pantry and you will be ready to move and groove yourself. 
So I want to thank uh, Ruth Carmelin Bice, who is the instructor for this class, and thank her for all the great volunteering that she does here in Stoughton with these ladies, making this great um, opportunity happen for them. I want to thank Karen McDonald, who's the director here at the Council on Aging and Stoughton Youth Commission. And I want to thank all the ladies in the Moving and Grooving class for graciously inviting us in to film them and uh, offering their stories and sharing what they love about this class. So thanks again, and we'll see you on the next episode.